Hi, this is Dennis. Uh, I just want to give you a little update on my solar panels. This is a, a two-panel pole, which has a tracker system, which I did a video on a DC uh, Sunstar deep freeze, which I'm going to hook that up to that. Um, just something simple. Um, don't take much uh, solar panels to run that deep freeze. But right now, it's just temporarily set in there, hooked up. Uh, matter of fact, right now it's hooked up to a hot water heater. I did have it hooked up to deep freeze. It worked fine for what I'm going to use it for. Right now I'm checking out the uh, heating element uh, that Jeff and, from Missouri Wind and Solar had. Uh, right now it's up to like 130 degrees. It seems to be working fine. You know. and it's not a heating element that you want to use uh, every day. But if you got a shop that's got a hot water heater in it, it uh, works great for that. Matter of fact, I'm going to use it for that. And I got PEX line underneath my floor in my building and I'm going to try to see what I can do by heating my floor in the winter time with that uh, heat element. But I'm going to do a video on that heat element but right now I'm going to do one on batteries. This is my uh, 8 panel pole, 230 watt panels. It's got the solar time tracker on it. It's nice to have a solar time tracker when you're doing batteries because you want to make sure you get all the power you can. Uh, days at the, You might get a half a day with some sun so you want to make sure you're dragging all the power you can with it. Um, this said, like I said, it's got the solar time tracker on it. Solar time tracker is very affordable. Uh, I did check on the other trackers. Anyone went anywhere between $3,500 to $4,000 is just out crazy. But um, I am a type of guy that that's uh, likes to. S I know how hard it is to earn your money, and uh, and I like to make sure the price is as low as I possibly can get it to. And I think uh, you guys would be surprised uh, the price on this. I have to be careful about because uh, some of the dealers, what they charge and that. But uh, uh, anyways, we got the price down for the dealers so they know uh, they can get the price to the customers uh, or the, the consumers as low as possible. Um, also got, uh, uh, this is the 12-panel pole that's got the tracker on it. This is just a microinverter, but today I want to really talk about the batteries. Uh, I got some power companies going to do some solar fields and they're uh, going to be using our tracker system. In fact, even in Alaska, they, uh, they want to use our our solar time tracker because their they're trackers that they got are not working right are very well and they can't get some very good support. So they're very well interested in the solar time tracker and they said, matter of fact, they, th they came up with that idea once but they never went through with it. So anyway, so... Uh, that's what they're going to do. But I want, my, my, my intention is to show you these batteries. <laughs> Anybody has batteries. We all know they're very expensive. Uh, but uh, I end up messing up a couple batteries because I had a hard time getting my head up on it here. And I did always figure, well, I'll do it tomorrow and do it the next day. And do it next. Finally, I ended up destroying a couple batteries. But, but this is called uh, water technology. This is made by, let's see, I got a whole thing here. Um, absolutely great they give you this five gallon jug and they give you all the tubing and they give you this little dial here so you can see if water is going into your batteries if it spins you know your battery is taking water they give you this little light which I stuck it inside this box this is really really my battery it tells you where my batteries are at so I just stuck it in here but if someone had a box that their batteries in they can put this light outside their box so it's got a pretty good long cable on it. it goes all the way down to your batteries but uh, when this light turns red, it will tell you that your batteries are, are low and they need water. So then what you do is take the end, this end here goes up to that jug. It's got a chuck valve on it. And you just plug it into this line here. Once I got, they gave you all the line. You remove your caps from your, old bat your batteries and slip these in. They got a little white float. And this little white button will pop up tell you your batteries are also full. But you just plug this in, uh, that little dial up here, wheel up here with turn saying it's filled up. But once it stops filling up, I would suggest to unplug this uh, because you don't want the uh, water could cipher out uh, slowly and, and you cause a, some water on your floor. But um, what's really neat is this, this probe thing, I'm going to pull it out of here. This probe sits in your batteries, it sits a quarter inch above your plates. And what you do you just take a half inch drill and drill a hole into your battery um, right here then you get this plug that you fit it put into that hole and this probe it just fits right down inside of the 
into the this probe comes longer I, you have to cut off what length you want to make sure you're a quarter inch above the the plates in there so you stick this in right now the light should be red and right now it is red telling me my, my batteries are low that's because I got the probe on it and I'll put the probe back in it and it's setting up above a quarter inch above the plates so um, right now then it should turn green again which it just did um, so anyways, um, if it blinks, I haven't seen it yet because I haven't tried it, but if it blinks more, uh, keeps blinking, the uh, red, it's telling you that the battery's been lower, low uh, more than 10 days, but I have seen a lot of videos, people did, and uh, uh, they got uh, their batteries in boxes and uh, maybe vented, but this will be great for them also, So because uh, they just put this light outside their box, they only have to open the box up, and then no more sticking your head in the, in the battery. Uh, I'm popping the caps off because uh, all you do is plug it in and that wheel stops turning, batteries are full, unplug it, and that's it. Simple, very simple, safe. Uh, safety is uh, definitely a must on, on when you're dealing with batteries. This one I put wire ties on. I stuck wire ties on each one of these just to make sure they don't come off because uh, where I work they teach safety quite a bit. So I'm also kind of uh, want to make sure I'm, I'm definitely. Carry, uh, cover every angle uh, as far as uh, safety. Um, probably don't need them, but I put them on there because I know you know heat expands, so I didn't want to make sure these lines never came off. So that's what I did. Um, I want to show you this battery here. This is a L16 battery. They are made in Mexico, but they are a good battery. They got the warranty the same as these Trojans, and you can get them really, really reasonable in price. So. If anybody's interested in those batteries, they can call me or email me at solartimetracker at yahoo.com. Definitely be able to help them out with that. Uh, like I said, I'm going to be building a street light out there and uh, I'm going to run on DC power. So if I lost power for some reason, any reason the power's out, I still have lights for outside. It's going to light up my backyard. And this is a Morning Star charge controller. Very reasonable in price, very well built. Uh, it worked great. It's a Samlex power, uh, charge controller got a little outlet so I can plug the, my, my solar light into it also got a place you can hook your computer to it but absolutely worked great uh, anybody interested in that stuff too just just e uh, email me at solartimetracker.com and I'm more than glad to help get set up with it and uh, like I said I'm, I'm definitely uh, aimed to try to save people money because I know how hard it is to get and uh, a lot of people kind of like this stuff but uh, sometimes that stuff's pretty expensive so we need to do all we can do to get the price down for the people. I did put a video up here so now I can see my solar panels. I uh, move in with the tracker system. Uh, so uh, got to heard some stuff on Jeff Missouri winning solar, and I tell you what, I worked with that guy. Uh, called him. I, I, I call him. I dealt with their people. I actually had no problem. In fact, I bought this charge controller here for my wind turbine. I bought my classic. I bought my all back and he done everything he could to give me a good deal on it and uh, and as a matter of fact he taught me a lot on it uh, so uh, I learned a lot from uh, Jeff from Missouri Wind and Solar um, so uh, the guy doing some bad comments I did do some research on him and anybody that uh, uh, need to really check out the guy that did uh, some bad videos on him uh, uh, he was I don't know what it was in that bag but uh, didn't look good but uh, uh, anyways, try to look at my other video I'm going to do on that hot water heater so you can see exactly how it's working out, how it's doing for me. So I appreciate everybody for uh, watching this video. Thank you very much.